Today we're going to step it up with an RGB LED and make it fade through all of the colors. What's going on? Thanks for checking out this video by Quick Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to pick up from where we left off in our previous tutorial with RGB LEDs, but instead of having it blink through different colors, we're going to have it fade through all of the colors. Now what I've done ahead of time is I actually wrote out the whole program just for saving time with this video. But I'm going to go through all of the lines of code that I have. Alright, now what we've seen and done before already is the initial uh, identifying which pins we're going to use and giving them a name. So the circuit that I built for the RGB LED blinking through different colors, I'm using the same exact setup. So I'm using pins 9, 10, and 11, and I gave each of them a name. So I'm using an RGB LED, so the red, green, and blue anodes uh, are plugged into pins 11, 10, and 9. And then my common cathode, uh, I have running to ground. And I have one, three 1,000 ohm resistors connected in series uh, to all of the uh, red, green, and blue leads. All right, so we have that established there. Void setup, right? This, I even wrote some notes in here. This is where our code runs once. So we said that red, green, and blue, right? We have to establish what they're going to do. We said their outputs. And what I also added here is I want my um, LED to start with the color red and then fade through all the colors. So I said that my red LED uh, is going to be high or on, right? We've talked about what high and low in digital right means. Uh, if you don't know what that means, please make sure to check out my other tutorials on programming LEDs with Arduino. All right, so I have my red LED that's going to be high. Now, or on, I should say. Another thing I added is we're going to have values constantly changing within this program. So I needed to define some variables, right? And variables are what's going to change. So I gave uh, three variables a name. So my red LED, I gave a variable name of red value. My green LED, I'm giving a variable of green value. And my blue LED, I'm giving a variable uh, name of blue value. All right, um, I'm keeping my names nice and similar and easy to read so I know what they do. All right, as far as what these values actually are, we're gonna uh, state that in our loop section. All right, so I have all of that done. Now I'm going down to my main loop area. First thing I'm doing uh, after my open brace is I am actually defining a delay time. So it says fading time between colors. We established that our LED can have a value of zero uh, all the way up to 255. So what it means is when something is changing from zero to one to two to three to four and all the way up to 255, how long is it going to take between changing values? So I wrote delay time five. Now remember, we're dealing with milliseconds. So this means it's going to take five milliseconds from, uh, from changing from one value to another. So our colors are going to fade kind of quick. If you wanted them to fade even quicker, you could lower that number down. And if you wanted your RGB LED to fade really slow, you could obviously increase that number uh, to whatever you'd like. You can play around with that value. But we're just establishing that early on. All right, the next thing I have is something called a for loop. Now, we haven't talked about these yet, so we're going to go over this for a minute. So I have in my for loop... Right, we already have my red LED on. So what I want is my red LED to turn off slowly, and I also want my green to fully come on. And we established that when you have uh, d values of two colors at once, it makes a unique color. Um, so we're going to say that in my for loop, right, we want values to change when they start at zero or when they they range between zero, right, and when they're less than 255. So this is saying what is what does it start at, right? Uh, what is your range uh, end at and now what is your value going to increase by so what this says is it's going to increase by one all right so it says fades out red and brings green full when uh, our value is 255 now after i wrote my for loop i have another open brace here all right so we, we had one of our variables, right? Red value and another one green value. And we said that we we're going to state what that value was later on. Here's that moment. So my red is already on. I want this to decrease by one until it gets all the way to zero. On the other end, I want my green value to increase by one. 
right? So our red, while it's fading out, our green is increasing, right? Which will give us a nice range of colors between red and green. We have this loop in here though, so that we don't exceed 255. We don't, you can't really go below zero, but this is just stating our parameters for uh, when our LEDs are gonna fade. So this is saying that our red value is going to decrease by one until it gets to zero, and our green value uh, is going to increase by one. All right, we also talked to be, uh, about digital write, whether it's just being on or off in analog write where we could actually set a value. So in this case, I wrote analog write for my red LED. I'm giving it the value of red value, which we just stated here. And for my green LED, I'm giving it a value of green value, which we stated here. And as far as the time it's gonna take to fade and do all of that, we already established our delay time in the beginning. So I just said delay is equal to our delay time. And then I have a closed brace after that. Now, at this point, your red LED should be off and your green LED should be on. So what I did is before I write another for loop, I just stated my red value is off, my green value should be 255, and my blue value, right, blue should still be off. Again, I have another for loop, same thing that I wrote up top. So this whole top section that we just wrote, you could actually copy and paste it here. My for loop is exactly the same. The only thing I changed were my notes. So I said, in this case, we're gonna fade out uh, from green and then go to blue. So instead of red value, I changed that to green. And instead of green value, I changed that to blue. Same values. Analog right, I changed the name, right? Red and red value to green and green value. And I changed from green and green value to blue and blue value, right? So I'm just changing the names and the uh, pins and the colors that I want to change. Same delay time. All right, the last section that I included, right, uh, at this point now, I should have green that's faded all the way out and blue that's all the way on. So I wrote red value is zero, green value is zero. My blue value at this point should be 255, which means it's full blue. And I, wanted to, I want this to go back to red. And when we do that, because we have all this in our for loop, once it turns back to red, it should repeat this whole cycle and, and uh, fade from red all the way down to purple, right? And then go back uh, to red. So going through all the colors of the rainbow. So same for loop, I just made a note, fades out blue uh, and brings red full. So in this case, I change the names one more time. So I have my blue value is going to decrease by one. My red value is going to increase by one. All right, I established these values to these pins. So I said that my blue LED is gonna have the value of blue value, right? It's decreasing. And my red is going to have a red value increasing by one, same delay time, right? And then I have that closed bracket. Now, at the end of my program, you may be noticing that there are two braces. I know I just said bracket, should be braces. All right, this is important because we have an open and closed for each of our little uh, sections here where we're changing colors. But remember, we have an open brace up at the top. So at the end of everything, we need to have a closed brace, All right? If you don't have that, it'll come up with an error message. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to verify the code. And then uh, if it's all good, I'm gonna plug it into uh, my Arduino board and we're gonna download this code and see if it worked. All right, so I just verified my code and everything was good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload it to my Arduino board and I'm gonna see if uh, if it all worked out the way we want it. So again, if everything worked out, we should start it red and it should fade through all of our colors. All right, so it's just uploading, checking everything. And there we go. So you can see we started red right changes over to green to blue purple right you see yellow a little bit so this is going kind of quick if we wanted to see the colors a little bit more we wanted to slow this down all we have to do is change our delay time so right now i have it at five milliseconds if i wanted to make this fade a lot slower i'm gonna make this uh let's make it 25 and see what that does all right so i'm hitting upload it's taking a second our board turned off and on. Now you can see it's fading a lot slower than it was before. So we're at green, now it's changing over to blue. All right, once it hits full blue, it'll turn purple because now we're mixing blue and red, right? And then it'll go 
back to red and start over. All right, so red, going through orange, yellow, now changing over to green, right? And then going from green, kind of an aqua to a teal, all the way to blue, and so on and so on. If I really want to slow down, let's make it 100. Let's see what this does. Right, so my delay time, 100. Downloading this, it'll turn off and on. And now this is going to take a while. So we're going from red right now. I know on the screen it's a little bright, may not see the color as well as I see it. Uh, but we're going from red right now, we're at yellow. You we kind of see the color on the paper. We're making our way towards uh, green. All right, right now we're pretty much at full green. Slowly now, so this is saying that it's taking a tenth of a second when we're changing those values from green and now decreasing by one until we get to a full value of uh, 255 for our blue. All right, so you can play around with that number, um, you know, as much as you want. You could get it to go really fast, really slow. Uh, if you're using, you know, colors fading for a specific project you're working on, obviously you could tweak that uh, to whatever you want. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. I hope uh, it helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback or any questions you may have.